when we do our food safety training as a group, we try to make it a bit lighter mood because food safety in itself can be a little boring, mund mundane. But so we've incorporated some fun facts and figures and that's all thanks to Phil and how he does the test. It's not just one that you're struggling with and, and knowing this. It's, it's a learning uh, process. It helps when we have food and, uh, you know, a break for the employees. It should be a yay food safety training, not boo food safety training, right? So it's a, it's a good thing. It's a, try to keep it light and lively and just discussion, right? Because nobody wants to be the one who has the, the stupid question, right? There's no stupid questions. So you got to just get everything out there. And we've even done some uh, hand washing with the, the soap that changes color and just so people you're not trying to call anybody out but you're showing people yeah you think you're doing it right but let's have a look are you really in that whole black light thing and just just fun and safety food safety <laughs> fun, yeah. fun and games yeah. um, usually the, the question is at the end are multiple choice and they're all very very close except for one he'll always throw in C or D or A as Tony and Karen said so yeah. Right. So anybody that checks that box automatically gets brought out into the front and said that is not the case. Right. But uh, he always wants to throw that in there because uh, it, it has always been a, a thing with Phil and I is that I'll challenge Phil to almost every thing that he brings forward to the farm in order for us to be better without the risk and the challenge and the push. Uh, the food safety program will just follow what everybody else is doing and the food safety program is yours and you need to make it yours and it's yours as ownership and yours as implementation. When I first hire new staff we go through each staff person and they they see our book and what we're doing and and rules but it is you can't just take oh day one at Paradise Hill Farm here's everything you need to know so it is a a training process and you have to get everyone on board and that's why the, the staff that have been here for years are helping out the new ones. And then in addition to that, group training with testing, with certificates that hang up on the wall that everybody sees when they come in the front door of our greenhouse, you can see our certificate, not just ours, but everyone else's certificate that's done the program. And I think that the, the staff's proud of, of doing it. They, when they're shopping at the store, they, they see our tomatoes and they know that um, that they've had a part in that process. And we can't just say, we've got a safe greenhouse. It's the whole uh, staff and everybody who's here doing their part because as we've seen with other negative stories in the news over the years, like you're just like, how did that happen? And it'll go back and sometimes they're able to find an actual incident. And you're like, how did that person not know that that wasn't a good thing? So hopefully we're doing our part educating and just making sure everyone's on board and it's an evolving process you don't expect the day one staff person to have it all figured out and so it's a helping it's all eyes on and um, you go from there.